bloody you hell, we're in Paroike and all hell's broken loose. A world is a book. Those who do not travel read only one page. Travel has helped us to understand the meaning of life and it has helped us to become better people. Each time we travel, we see the world with new eyes. People think that because we keep travelling and searching for new things to do, we are not focused. But travel helped us find our purpose and put focus into our lives. The more we get lost in our travels, the richer our lives become. Today we welcomed on board uh, Mark and Sarah, our very good friends um, from back from Chesterfield. Um, we've known each other, gosh, I'm going to say 12 years, but I bet Carl corrects me. The kids was at primary school. <laughs> the kids were at primary school and they're now 24 and 26. So it's more so than 12 more years. Like we play together, we have fun together. Um, but it's good, yeah. We <laughs> I'm looking forward to a great laugh and a good time, especially now they're here. We just couldn't find anywhere else to go. Keep it tall. So we were trying to film these birds in this tree but there's obviously a wedding going off and that's all the honking you could hear because it's common practice for everybody in the village to drive the cars and start honking the horns. So today uh, Jen's just gone ashore to get some provisions uh, with Mark and Sarah. I'm just waiting for them to shout me up on the radio to call me to go and pick them up and then we're setting off and we're going to the island of Delos. Uh, which is apparently it's uninhabited, but it's got a great big architectural site on. So there's a little island just right next door to it where we'll have to anchor up and then we'll get the dinghy over to Delos maybe tomorrow to go and have a look. I think it's about a five or six hour trip from here. But at the moment with no wind, so I think we'll be motoring most of the way. But it's calm seas today, so might catch a tuna. Who knows? Stay tuned. The Portara, or the Great Door, is essentially a massive marble doorway of the Temple of Apollo that stands proudly as the jewel of Naxos. It lies close to the port on the islet of Palatia, which was once a hill. Back in the ancient times, a strip of land connected the north side of Naxos port to the islet of Palatia. So we're just coming into Delos, which is to the right. This is supposedly the birthplace of Apollo, the Greek god. I think it's Apollo. We've just had a bit of a choppy crossing and we're heading up that channel there to go around the back of this island on the left, which is called Renos. And hopefully it'll be a bit 
calmer than what we've just come across because it was a little bit choppy and we've had to motor it all the way because there's been no wind. So the yellow buildings you can see are the museum buildings. That's where we can anchor to go into the site. Okay, so we have just arrived on the island of uh, what's Rene. it? Rini. Rennia. 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 Something. Which is right next door to Delos. And I said earlier it's the birthplace of Apollo. And it was actually Apollo and uh, Artemis. Artemis, his twin brother. So we'll go over there tomorrow and have a look at the ruins. So we've just got a nice little anchorage here. Nothing here. Just throw the boats in it. They'll probably be doing the same thing. Um, now it's time for Captain's Log and Captain's Beer. Cheers. Do you want me to check? No, I haven't done. <laughs> ah, you've put them down I've got now. Three of a kind, and no. I've got a four of a kind. I'm no, you need a running three. I've got a running four and a three of a kind. Mm -hmm. Other way around. So carry on then. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, look at that! I wanted the four, and I wanted the seven that I've been waiting for for ages. Well, you can have because some tried already have that. You got my ace. Put the seven down. I wanted the ace. Yeah, well, tough shit. You weren't having it. Yeah. <laughs> So here we are on the top of the mount, uh, the island of Delos. Just behind me, this wall here, that was the original uh, amphitheatre, what used to seat six and a half thousand people. Wow, can you imagine that? We've actually just gone down there and done a, an audio test, and you can sit anywhere around in it and just more or less whispering. It's like just quieter than I'm talking now, and you can hear it everywhere. It's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the theatre of Delos. Just imagine Cleopatra there, can't you? Cleopatra Egyptian. I'm just back over there. Over there somewhere. It's dream. So she stays there while we're still walking around this island. Delos was preserved through the centuries due to the fact that it remained uninhabited since the 7th century AD and due to its remote location. Nowadays, the entire island is designated as an archaeological site. The estimated population in 900 BC was 30,000.
Well, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And please check out our Patreon page where you can get access to over 40 patron-only videos. See you next time.